I think it's a pretty important issue. I mean, I'm not a political expert. I'm more of a policy guy, but I, I don't see from a policy perspective why we ought to borrow $700 billion to give tax cuts that virtually all experts agree are the least effective thing we can do to get the economy growing. I think that's right. I mean, it's both the middle class was squeezed for eight years, followed by worst recession since 1929. So they cannot afford uh, to accept greater tax burden at a time like this. But in addition, one of the things that business needs is to help resolve some uncertainty about, about personal consumption. And if there is not that cloud hanging over uh, the consumer, I think that, that that could be stimulative. As the president said many times, we're not going to have healthy growth in this country unless we've got a strong and vibrant middle class. I will say tax cuts for very, very high income people. Tax cuts that average more than $100,000 a year for people that make more than a million. Um, they don't make economic sense. That's not what we need right now. What we need is tax cuts for small business, tax cuts to encourage businesses to invest in this country, and tax cuts for the 98% of people making less than $250,000 a year to make sure that we've got stable demand there. That's what we need. That's a far better economic package than is doing the other. So I hope we don't have a compromise uh, on that because that's spending money that we don't have for something that doesn't work.